the announcement of the World Cup fixtures for 2015 and very pleased to announce that the WACA ground in Perth has been awarded three matches, two involving India and one involving Australia. So uh, it's great thanks to uh, the state government and the DSR for uh, helping us with the bid to, uh, to be able to host these matches. So uh, I've got a memento, um, a framed logo from uh, the WACA Cricket Australia and ICC to present to uh, Terry Walden. Thanks very much, Richard. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, look, can I just say, uh, on behalf of the WA State Government, I think uh, on behalf of all West Australians, we're really excited to be part of the 2015 World Cup. Um, it's a fantastic event, uh, event that gets so much coverage around the world and it's great that we're a part of it here at the Wacker Ground in Perth, Western Australia. As a state government, we we're really pleased to work uh, with the organising committee, uh, Cricket Australia and the Wacker, to secure the bid and we're really, uh, really pleased to gain three games here uh, at the Wacker. What we're really pleased about is having India. India, uh, one of the world's leading cricket nations and the current uh, holder of the World Cup, so they're the current champions. Having India play two games here is fantastic, along with of course uh, our own Australian team playing here and the much improved West Indies team. So we're in for a magnificent week of cricket here at the Wacker in Perth. I um, can also say West Australia has a strong uh, trade, uh, tourism and business relationships with India. Uh, some over 12,000 tourists a year coming to Western Australia from India. So having uh, India playing two games here and having that beam back live to the, the, the millions of cricket loving uh, Indians is fantastic for exposure to Perth and WA to that market. Also I'm sure uh, they love their cricket that much that there'll be thousands of them coming to Australia and following their team and that'll be a great boost to uh, tourism and business here in WA. I'd just like to add on behalf of the state government, we're really pleased to have big events such as this in Western Australia. Uh, it's, it's, also, it's great for our young sportsmen and women. I'm sure there'll be many young aspiring cricketers who will get down here and see some of the world's best players. And that will, I'm sure, inspire them to get involved and continue to be involved in the game. And I was only reading the other day where many world's top sportsmen and women have had that little trigger where they've seen uh, a star locally that's fired them up to go on and become great players. Uh, from the government's point of view, we think it's a really good investment, not just to have the World Cup here, but the legacy that will be left behind here at the WACA, particularly with the new media facilities that will go in here. Uh, India being such a, a huge cricketing nation with a huge media following, uh, we need to expand and improve the facilities here to cater for the heaps of media that come with them. And uh, after the World Cup's over, uh, those excellent facilities remain, which will be a great legacy. So can I just say well done to um, the organising committee, uh, to Cricket Australia and the WACA. Thanks to the WACA for working with us at the state government level. And I just want to thank all the people within the state government and at Sport and Rec who have worked so hard to secure what will be a fantastic event for Western Australians. I certainly look forward to it as someone who loves my cricket. I'll just say roll on 2015.